Welcome everybody, it is John and today I'm at an abandoned resort known as the Indian Cave Resort. And yes, that means there is a cave here. Hopefully we can find it and get inside of it. But uh, this is a cave that uh, ever since settlers first came here and traveled this river to settle in Nashville, Knoxville, Chattanooga, and etc. They had to pass here. So they used this cave as a place of refuge, place to stay. Uh, it's also used by Native Americans. So 1916, this place was converted into a resort. So it was made into a, like a touristy cave tour type of resort. And in, in 2010, 2010, this place went abandoned. So I'm gonna check it out guys, so follow me. As you enter, there's an abandoned trailer. And just right here is an abandoned house. I actually walked up there to scout it out and there's no steps or way in. But it's interesting, there is an abandoned house right as you prepare to enter into the park. I love the gate here as you enter. I don't know what it was to represent, but looks like maybe a, possibly a ticket booth. So I would stand in here and you come maybe buy your tickets and you could enter into the Indian Cave Resort. Which kind of makes me nervous because there's this huge gate. Well, it's obviously been open for a while. Looks like a tree fell here. But this is a very well used road. I see no sign saying keep out, so I'm gonna walk around and explore this a little bit. This is like a little playground. See the old slide. Like a little chicken wire fence, I guess, to keep the kids from falling overboard. I'm falling overboard, falling into the river. This almost looks like a chicken coop. I didn't believe it was like a little playhouse for kids. How cool is that? And you had the swings and the, the slide over here. These look like little shops and stuff down through here. Let's go check this out. All right, so let's see what is in here. A lot of junk. Kind of shelving. It's had to be some kind of store. Although there is a mattress right here. Tennessee blanket. What is that little thing? There's definitely an eerie feel to it. Especially the ceiling about to collapse in. Man, this was this was something back in this day. The way it's set right here on the river. Man, this is peaceful. Even now, that's abandoned and desolate. It's still very peaceful. Let's check out this. Going here. Got an old chest of drawers laying here. This looks like it may have been some kind of bar or kind of restaurant area. All items as is. Somebody set fire to this at one point. You know, it's had to be like a set around bar. Come in and get you a drink or maybe it's just a cash wrap into like a convenience store. Noises down that way. Very well, could be some animals in here. This gave the facade of like a an old timey country store. Oh man, that was a really cool Christmas, like village setup. Look at the 
design work there on the front. Universal Ministries Church. Look at this dress. Look at this fountain. I bet this was something back in its time. I had a big waterfall going down over it. This one definitely had a fire. Look at that fireplace over there. Had a stage over here. I bet this is like a karaoke, karaoke bar slash restaurant area. Crazy. How cool the front porch looks now. All being reclaimed by nature. This looks like it had been a, a little outdoor fire pit area. Little chimney here. Now look here, these steps go up. There used to be cabins up there. They're all gone now. I believe they've all burnt. Here's like some seating maybe an outdoor dining area it's really cool looking out here check out this old grist mill now that's a gym the old wheel is still there it's intact wow that is something else let's check this thing out kind of scares me because it looks like it opens up real big underneath This is stable ground. That's completely collapsed inside. I don't want to step in there because it could go, could really hurt. Looking back here at the grist mill and into the little village shops areas and looking out on this river. It's hard to imagine people would want to leave this. It's peace and quiet, serene beauty. This is one pretty area. So we we just checked out all that. I'm assuming the cave must be this way. It was visible from the river. Said it was easily accessible and visible from the river. It looks like some large animals have been playing through here. Set of stairs over here goes up by the grist mill. Let's carry on this way. There's gotta be something back here. All right guys, so we're looking out here on this beautiful river. Look at that tree. Check this out. Wow. We're walking into Indian Cave. It's got huge doors here. Oh, and it just keeps going. There is a... The reason I won't go in here, it's locked. Oh, wow. Check it out. Let's grab a flashlight and shine back in there. There is no trespassing sign inside the cave, so... Ain't that so cool, guys? I don't know how far this goes. There are some videos out there of people exploring this, but this was a, I can see how big it is here. Looking out to the river, I can see how people would definitely see this and use this as a place of refuge. Wow, this is so cool. Wish, I wish we could get inside, but uh, that would definitely be a fourth century type of thing. And I'm not gonna do that. Maybe if I can ever get with who owns this, or if you know who owns it, or if you own it, and would like to let us explore this. It'd be a great thing. I don't know how big it is, how deep it goes. But that is so cool right there. I did not expect this to be here. Look at all this little rock work they've done around. So it looks like the cave was much bigger and they just kind of built this in to make an entry point. How cool is that, guys? I 
As I was walking away, I started hearing some weird sounds. Drawing me back over here. Hello? Anyone here with us? No, I'm not hearing anything. I keep hearing stuff behind me now. You can hear a lot of water flowing back here. Sounds like a mad raging river. I hear a four wheeler. This must have been something grand at one point. You can see the top of the cave up there. Down to here. It only got an eerie feel. But a cool area, nevertheless. Okay, I was just filming a quick little sneak peek for the Patreon. Patreon, if I can talk. I swear somebody was out here talking. It's getting creepy. I'm gonna walk on out of here. See if I run across anybody. It sounded kind of rough. I just stopped recording with that and it sounded like somebody kind of yelling. I don't know if it was something directed at me or, or what. But I had a heart attack. I didn't know if I was seeing a ghost or what. <laughs> it's a pretty cool little place, ain't it? Never been here before, so yeah, I just stopped to check it out. Have you seen the cave? No, no, we're headed that way. Okay, yeah. so I answered that. There was people here. Just like me, hanging out. Checking it out, so. Let's carry on out here and look at my phone. Okay, so here's the cool part, guys. I want you to comment down below and let me know if you'd like for me to come back here at night and do a paranormal deal. Um, the only bad thing is there's a house like right across the lake, so I don't know if they'll get mad, but I think it'd be a cool spot to come and do a paranormal nighttime video because this is Native American land. Um, there is a, a lot of rumors of some very, very strange hauntings here. Um, and it may be these people across the lake, but people that live near here report seeing uh, Native Americans walking around over here and stuff. So I think it's worth coming back at night. Let me know down below if you want us to. Bring me and Tim and maybe a special guest here to uh, do a nighttime paranormal of this place. I think it is worthy of it. But with that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for being here on another adventure. And uh, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Um, I do film sneak peeks and put them on Patreon if you're interested in that. The link's down below. And I do sell two t-shirts that's down below. So um, go check that stuff out. But thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, y'all have a great day.